Surely this can't be right. King Sisyphus? I wasn't expecting him for a few years yet. Zeus. I'll bet he's interfered again. I hate it when he does this. Although, I've got to say, old Sisyphus probably had it coming. <laughs> oh, well. It's too late to do anything about it now. Celesta's probably already on her way. Hmm. Ah, yes, Celesta. A god of the underworld couldn't wish for a better sister. She makes my job so much easier. Who wouldn't welcome death when it comes in a form as beautiful and charming as Celesta? Hmm. Together, we are an unbeatable team. It's happening. What is it? Look, my reflection is fading. Death has come for me. No, it can't be. Why now? Your life and death is in the hands of the gods. They can choose to take you at any time, for any reason, however small. A fading reflection is a sign that death has been sent to claim you. It looks as though Zeus is trying to punish me. I don't have much time. What are you going to do? Don't worry, Karis. I have a plan. Well, well. If it isn't the legendary Xena. Do I know you? I'm Toxius. I saw you fight in Nespa a while back. My army could use a warrior like you. How about it? Join a band of worthless lowlife scum? I think I'll pass. Pity. I have a strict recruiting policy. Join or die. Hey. <laughs> Come on, Gabrielle. Think of eating at a time like this. Patience, Karis. Come in. We've been expecting you. Are you ready to begin your journey, Sisyphus? Yes. But first, there's so much I want to know about you. You're not afraid of me? On the contrary. I'm fascinated. And how about you? Aren't you the least bit curious about my world? Sit! Enjoy a sumptuous feast of earthly delights. All right, Sisyphus. But this doesn't change things. As soon as we're finished, we'll go. Splendid! After all, a visit from you happens only once in a lifetime. A toast to long life and a peaceful My flame! You can't do this! <laughs> we'll see about that. I can't believe it. I've beaten death. I I've become immortal! <laughs> oh, the gods have smiled on me today. Oh, Xena will be very disappointed. <laughs> I think a rematch may be in order. <laughs> Take 
cover. I'll deal with it. Go! Take another step and you're dead. Always ready for a fight. That's why I like you, Xena. You're Hades, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, relax. I'm a big fan. Though for a while you were working us pretty hard down there. I need your help. My sister Celesta has been captured by King Sisyphus. Sisyphus? He holds her at his castle. I want you to rescue her. Why me? You know Sisyphus. You've seen the deadly tricks he's capable of. But you have to act quickly. In a few hours, Celesta's flame will burn out. And? And eternal suffering will be the fate of all mankind. You know who my sister is, don't you? Death. I know I can't blow out your candle, Celesta. But I've noticed, when you're not holding it, it burns down very nicely. If it goes out, I'll cease to exist. Well, that's the point. You should have thought of that before you came to my castle. I had no choice. You angered Zeus. This isn't my time and you know it. Zeus is going to be furious at me when he finds out about this. Oh, how could I have been so foolish? I'm going to do a deal with Zeus. If he promises me eternal life, I'll gladly release you. Zeus doesn't do deals with mortals. Oh, really? Well, that's just too bad for you then, isn't it? Ah, I can't believe you're going to help Hades and throw away the chance at eternal life. What he wants is for the good of all humanity. I don't trust him. Since when did the gods ask you for favors? The favor's all mine. I've got my own score to settle with King Sisyphus. Long ago, I led my army into battle against King Sisyphus. I was foolhardy, and we were ill-prepared for the ferocity of his men. We suffered a great loss. My first lieutenant died by the king's own sword. Although those days are behind me, Hades did choose his help wisely. <laughs> Looks like they need help. Let me take a look. Oh, oh, no, no. Hold still. I'm trying to help you. Here, let me give you a hand. Thanks. We need to stop the bleeding. Easy now. You'll be okay. Where are you from? Carthage. Oh. Carthage? Then we have your great city to thank for the weather. What do you mean? Once, a young man, Lapithus, met beautiful Io in Carthage, and they fell madly in love. The gods were jealous and condemned them to separate destinies. Lapithus to live only in summer and Io only in winter. Luckily, Aphrodite took pity on the lovers and thought of a way to reunite them. How? And what's that got to do with the weather? Well, Aphrodite turned Lapithus into snow and Io into rain. So when it's winter and snow falls, it's actually Lapithus blanketing his love Io. And in the spring, the gentle rain is Io caressing Lapithus. You should be fine. Thank you. Oh, is this guy a dream boat or what? I'm Talus. Gabrielle? Gabrielle, we need more water! There's a pond not far from here. I'll show you. After you. Mm -hmm. 
So, until we release her, no one on Earth can die. Not everyone would risk so much for the sake of mankind. You're very brave, Gabrielle. Well, I have a lot of help. Hey, when I was a boy, my mother worked for King Sisyphus. I, I practically grew up in the castle. I could show you the way. That'd be really great. What's this? Jasmine Blossom. It's a rare beauty, like you. I feel that fate has brought us together for a reason, don't you? It's funny, isn't it? We don't know the first thing about each other. Well, let's start now, then. Who'll go first? You go first. Okay. What do you want to know? Everything. I want to know everything about you. What's wrong? I suppose it's better that I tell you this now rather than later. What? Well, Gabrielle, you see, I'm dying. What? Don't be silly. Well, no, it's true. I, I've been sick for months. There's no way of knowing how much time I have left. That's not fair. We're meant to be together. I know. What? Celesta. Perhaps I can talk Xena out of rescuing Celesta. It's got to be worth a try. You'd really do that for me? Some guys never give up. You look good. Like I said, Xena, I don't take no for an answer. <laughs> I could get used to this. Give it up, Xena. You can't kill me. I'm a god now. You're no god, Toxius. Death's capture has kept you alive, but when I release her, you will die. That's not gonna happen. Uh. <laughs> Just where I want you. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought I was gonna let you keep it. <laughs> Go on, try it. Zena? Yes. I've been thinking, you know, maybe it's not such a good idea to be doing this. I mean, it probably is a job for a god. Why doesn't Hades rescue his sister himself? You always made a point of not becoming involved with the Immortals and all their problems. This time it's different. It's a big problem that concerns us all. Try to imagine a world without death. Oh, come on! It couldn't be all that bad. We could all live forever. What's wrong with that? 